Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yes! Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire, and I am super excited to be scrutinizing another video for you all today. This time we are going to China Lindy Hop Championships, CLHC, and I'm gonna be judging an open Jack and Jill competition. For those that don't know, this means that you're gonna have a leader and a follower be paired up, and they're going to improvise to swing music, and I get a chance to judge who I liked the best. So let's get right into it. Okay, what we got? We got an active audience again. Always helps. Yeah. This is gonna be pretty interesting. Oh, my. Usually the open level is not really this high and these dancers have a little bit more skill so let's see what goes down. DQ and Tony. Tian Tian Effie. Kun Yuan and Gong.
this is going to be interesting to talk about, so let's Whoa. get right into it. Yeah. All right, friends, I got to admit, that was really entertaining to watch that open level Jack and Jill. It is extremely difficult to judge open Jack and Jill competitions because I feel it's a gigantic leap in skill because what's before open is basically I don't know how to dance level, right? So these dancers have learned the fundamentals and they're brave enough to actually get in front of an audience and compete. This is this level and I, I really applaud dancers at this level because it's kind of scary to get out there and open Jack and Jill when your confidence level may not be at the same as if you were a master dancer. So big shout out to everybody in this competition for just getting out there. Now I've got to say my third place winner on this one is Sebastian and Yang. Here's what I loved about their dancing. Obviously you guys know I, I look at timing, I look at control, and I look at creativity. Those are the main three things that I look for as a professional judge. Now, when they first come out here, first thing I notice is they both have control of the technique. Leaders doing the leading position, followers doing the follower position. I don't see them fighting each other initially. What I liked most is their transition from their swing outs right into some Charleston. Usually at the open level or the you know beginner intermediate level, dancers have a hard time in their transitions. And this really stood out to me. Um, I also like the fact that they were kind of gutsy. They tried something different with their um, Charleston variation. That was more of an advanced variation. So a big shout out to them because that was one of the big standouts that uh, kind of stood out to me. And I was like, whoa, you know, I need to pay attention to them. Uh, on their sets. Now, what's really interesting is the second place couple was the couple that came right after them, Wang and Chu. Check this out. What I liked about them is they immediately came out and they misled me. They, they, I thought they were going to go and do some swing outs, but no, he immediately led uh, some different shapes tried some different things and they both just went wild with the swing outs and that right there is just amazing when you could see dancers let go of all of the other moves that were they were probably having in their minds and just hit the ground running doing things that are very familiar what i liked about their swing outs too is that it didn't feel too formulaic i know at the open level it's difficult to kind of be yourself because you're learning um, what's what's good dancing and what's bad dancing and in, in that process oftentimes we you know imitate our leaders and the people who inspire us to the point where we kind of lose the difference between what's fundamental and preference and so it was really great to see these dancers um, still be able to stand out in their own personality while mastering and doing the technique at their level so big shout out to them they were my second place level now my first level uh, my first place goes to i can't say his first name it's x u c h e n yu chen and joy please forgive me if i mispronounced that i probably did but for me their first place check it out so they come in right after wang and chu clearly doing some swing outs right she's adding a, an amazing amount of footwork Here's what I like. The transition is solid. They didn't go immediately into Charleston. He's doing a Texas Tommy, comes around, goes right into the things that seem most practical for their positioning. And a lot of times, dancers will force the movements and they may not have the correct positioning to make their ideas work. But what I liked best about them is they didn't they didn't try to make something happen that wasn't there. These dancers worked with what they had. They were able to adjust in shapes that seemed a little clunky um, or unplanned, and yet they were able to transition seamlessly between all of those. So they were my first place couple. Again, I look at control. That's basically, can you do the, the swing dance technique? And all three of these couples had it. And when I, usually at the open level, I am not as... Um, focused on the way the control looks. I just want to be able to see the leader do their role and the follower do their role and it not look like they're fighting. Obviously, you can tell the difference between dancers on an open level and an advanced level because they've been able to polish out and, and refine all the movements that are unnecessary in making that process happen. And so at this level, 
everybody had that. They had the control part. Obviously, when they get to the next level, they're gonna refine it, make it even better. But what I liked also is that they had the creativity. Many of them were doing some fancy footwork, especially the followers. Big shout out to all three of these followers, Joy, Chu, and Yang. All of you were just adding different things with your footwork. I think that's really cool, and I hope to see more of that. What did you guys think? What did you guys think about this competition? Let me know who you thought was the winner of this open competition. It was it was tough between my first and my second place winner, but I think overall uh, my first place winner, um, Yu Chen and Joy, uh, had the, the balance that I was looking for. The ability to do the control part, the ability to adapt when things don't go right, and it looked like they're having fun at the same time. So big shout out to them. So let me know guys who you think was the winner of this competition and let me know in the comments section below. If you guys haven't done any swing dancing yet, I encourage you just to get involved. It's so much fun. You don't know what you're missing. I've been doing this for such a long time. I'm 40 something years old. I've been dancing since I was 11 and swing dancing has been a huge part of that. So if you're wanting to get a head start wherever you're at, check out some of my free courses below. It'll really help you get a head start. So let me know what you guys think. Who do you think was the winner of this competition in the comment section below? If I don't see some of you all in my class online, hopefully I get a chance to see some of your comments below. Take care.